Jean Boutou is a Flemish painter known for his contribution to the Rococo period of extending Rococo's influence to more than just architecture or interior design but onto canvas as well. Watu showed an early interest in painting and his parents placed him in a workshop of a local painter, but seeing as he could only learn little from the painter, he went to Paris. In 1702, he found employment in a workshop of Comte Notre Dame, making copies of popular genre painting in the Flemish and Dutch tradition, and during this period he developed his characteristic sketch-like technique. Watu's drawing style has made him one of the most brilliant and innovative draftsmen of the 18th century. He used a fascinating talent of choice crayons or a free chalk technique, which just means they use red, black, and white chalk on mid-tone colored paper such as gray, blue, or tan. His artistic content can be summarized by his love for the theater and his fascination of the Rococo styling and design. In many of his works, you can see statues and architecture within the background of the painting. Watu is probably most praised for his bright palette, but because of his palette and subject overshadowing his techniques, it led to critics challenging his stylistic ability. They accused him of being deficient in the art of composition. The perspective of Watu's paintings were relatively simple, his viewpoint being at eye level for the viewer, and he painted his figures close to true to life, with proportionate bodies all relative in size to one another. In 1710 and 1712, he had painted the first of his three versions of the embarkment of Scythia. The myth of the island of Scythia, or of love, has distant roots in French and Italian, which in the journey is depicted as a difficult quest, but the Watu's Cynthia is a paradise that represents an invitation to the delight and the enchantment of nature. It is an island the pilgrims embark towards but never arrive. It is only a light on the horizon. It is probable that Watu was inspired by an opera ballet of Hedora di la Mutte. In 1720, Watu painted the now famous signboard for the shop of his art dealer friend Gersant. It portrays an art dealer's shop in which a mirror's painting of Louis XIV is symbolically stored away, as if to mark the end of his great reign. Although there are a number of figures, the protagonist of the picture is painting itself, as if Watu at the end of his life were concentrating his art into an eternity. Rococo's style differs from neoclassical art in the sense that Rococo had light-hearted, whimsical style of decorative art, while neoclassic emphasized courage, sacrifice, nationalism, and tradition. Art in the neoclassical period focused on portraying political truths in the time in a dramatic way. This period played a role in influencing French revolutionist Jacques Louis David. Jacques Louis David was born in 1748 in Paris, France. When David showed an interest in painting, his uncle sent him to Francois Rochel, a leading painter of the time. But Rochel decided to send David to his friend Joseph Marie Wien, a painter more in tune with the neoclassical reaction to the Coco. By age 18, he was enrolled at the Academy Royale. After several failures in competition and finding discouragement, in 1774, he finally obtained the Prix de Rome. In Paris of 1780, David exhibited Belsarius S. and Ons, in which he combined his own approach to antiquity with a neoclassical style. In 1784, David returned to Rome to complete the Oath of the Horati, and it was a sharp departure from the prevailing Rococo style of the time. Exhibited in the official Paris Salon of 1785, the painting created a sensation and was regarded as a declaration of the artistic movement that would put an end to the delicate popularity of the Rococo period. It also came to symbolize the end of the aristocratic corruption and return in France to the patriotic morals of Republican King Rome. David's revolutionary inspiration is ultimately best represented by the death of Marat. Painted in 1793, soon after the murder of revolutionary leader Jean Paul Marat, the so-called heat of the revolution is considered David's masterpiece. Marat became an instant political martyr, while the painting became a symbol of sacrifice in the name of the Republic. In 1794, David was arrested, remaining in prison until the amnesty of 1795. Upon release, David devoted his time to teaching. He also became the official painter of Napoleon I. Antoine Watu painted the embarkment of Sibir. I am Dr. Lee.